Uh, Comic-Con is nothing if not a smorgasbord of enterprising entertainment of all kinds, from film to TV to comic books. Now it attracts companies from all over the world eager to set up a booth and offer a unique experience for ticket holders. But there are two local companies that have attended Comic-Con for years, one big, one small. Jeannie Rodden starts with Neko Press Comics and the artist who keeps coming back. <laughs> My name is Billy Martinez, and uh, I'm a cartoonist. I'm also an art teacher at Neko Press Art Studios, and I also uh, perform live art. Billy Martinez is an artist first and foremost. The, uh, the artwork that I do, uh, the style that I do, is a, a bit of a hybrid style, a uh, cross between a Japanese uh, manga and anime style mixed with an American style. He's also a graphic novelist. Last year, I just released a, a book to, called The Deepest Dark. Um, it's a samurai ghost story. It's an illustrated novel that I've been working on for about almost five years. But you could also call him his own marketing manager, which means he has to reinvent himself all the time to his fans. I have changed things through the years. You have to. Um, I've been in business for, you know, 13 years as a publisher and 16 to 17 years um, as a, a professional artist. Martinez has been attending Comic-Con since 1994. That's 17 years in a row. I would have to say a lot has changed since 94. You know, um, a lot of production, uh, the way books are done. You have digital books, you have different presentation um, as far as like the live art like that, that we perform. And at this year's Comic-Con, Martinez attracted a crowd with his live art. And he also gave fans a treat with an autograph signing that went above and beyond. Is I'm jealous. <laughs> but Martinez knows that the giant spotlight of Comic-Con's growth might be overshadowing him. I have to say, you know, there's pros and cons with it. You know, you have a lot of Hollywood people there that, you know, may stumble upon like a book that you're working on or a project. And it's a great place to connect with them. Although I am kind of like a traditionalist with comics and it's kind of, it is also sad to see like it feels like comics are not the main focus as much anymore. Is there still a place for guys like you there? Yeah, I, I, I hope so. Um, you know, we, we, we plan to do the show, you know, until the booths get too expensive to do. Right now, Martinez is paying $2,500 for this booth. When he started at Comic-Con, the cost was 700 but he knows it's the price of doing business in an ever-changing industry. This new generation of um, the younger kids, I guess, are more digital, so they're using less books, and it's kind of, you have to move with that whole time. And as long as Martinez doesn't get squeezed out by the big guys, he plans on being here for years to come, because he believes that four days out of the year, Comic-Con defines San Diego. I think it adds to the city. I think it's, it's one of the main events that we have here. I think if you took it away, I don't know, it wouldn't be quite the same. And right now, the con is slated to stay in San Diego until 2015. It's, it's a good show. It's a really good show. Now we go from a small presenter to a large one. Coming up next, we'll take you to the booth of IDW, who's unveiling the latest graphic novel from Stephen King's son. That's all coming up next on this special edition of San Diego Insight.